Um, another example of this, uh, uh, with audio, uh, uh, auditory illusions, um, there's this, this film White Noise with, with Michael Keaton about the, the dead talking back to us. Uh, by the way, this whole business of talking to the dead, it's not that big a deal, anybody can do it. Turns out it's getting the dead to talk back, that's the really <laughs> hard part. In this case, um, supposedly uh, these messages are hidden in electronic phenomena. There's a reversespeech.com webpage in which I downloaded this stuff. Here is the forward, this is the most famous one of all of these. Here's the forward version of the very famous song. If there's a button in your head, don't be alone there. It's just a sprinkly for the main queen. Yes, there are two paths you can go back. Well, can you just listen to that all day? <laughs> all right, here it is backwards, and see if you can hear the hidden messages that are supposedly in there. What'd you get? Satan. Satan. Okay, well, at least we got Satan. Now I will prime your auditory part of your brain to tell you what you're supposed to hear and then hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't miss it when I tell you what's there. All right, I'm going to just end with a, a positive, a, a nice little story about the Skeptics is a, a, a non-profit educational organization. We're always looking for little good things that people do. In England, there's a, a, a pop singer, very one of the top popular singers in England today, Katie Malua, and she wrote a beautiful song. It was in top five uh, for in, 19, in 2005 uh, called uh, Nine Million Bicycles in Beijing. It's, it's a love story. She's sort of the Nora Jones of, of the UK about how much she loves her guy and compared to nine million bicycles and so forth. And she has this one passage here. We are 12 billion light years from the edge. That's a guess. No one can ever say it's true. But I know that I will always be with you. Well, that's nice. Um, at least you got it close. In America, it would be we are 6,000 light years from the edge. Uh, <laughs> But my friend Simon Singh, the uh, particle physicist now turned science educator, and he wrote the book The Big Bang and so on, uses every chance he gets to promote good science. And so he wrote an op-ed piece in The Guardian about Katie's song in which he said, well, um, we know exactly how, f how, old the, how far from the edge, you know, it's 13.7 it's billion light years. And it's not a guess. We know within a precise error bars there uh, how close it is. And so we can say, although not absolutely true, that it's pretty close to being true. And uh, to his credit, Katie called him up after this op-ed piece came out and said, I'm so embarrassed, I was a member of the astronomy club and I should have known better. And she recut the song, so I will end with the new version. We are 13.7 billion light years from the edge of the observable universe. That's a good estimate with well-defined error bars. And with the available information, I predict that I will always be with you. How cool is that?